joined on the phone right now uh, by crowd control and security expert Manny Gomez. Uh, Manny, good afternoon. You there? All right, we're waiting for Manny Gomez as we continue to look at what's going on live in Union Square. I am here. Hi, hi, Manny. Hi. hi. Thank you so hi. much for joining us. Uh, you're looking at these pictures as well. Are you seeing what's going I on? Am. I am. Reactions. Level four mobilization. Help us understand what that means and your reaction to what you're seeing. Well, level four mobilization is the highest level of mobilization in the New York City Police Department. That means that they are calling upon all precincts, all units, all over the city to come in and help and have hundreds and hundreds of uniformed police officers uh, on the ready in case they need to move in. Uh, they will also have the bike patrols which they've been trained very well in crowd control issues and how to blockade certain crowds. And then uh, something that hasn't been used in a very long time are the mounted units, uh, the horse uh, police officers on, on, on mounted uh, police horses that are trained specifically for crowd control. And the former administration during uh, different demonstrations and, and uh, protests uh, did not choose to go in that direction. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see what happens here. Mm -hmm. As uh, your colleague said, this is not really that uh, violent right now, mm -hmm. but it is hostile. I mean, the, the, the jumping on top of vehicles, mm -hmm. that's a uh, crime against personal property, the fire extinguisher, that could definitely be uh, hurt somebody. Mm -hmm. And the police's goal is to get enough resources in there right now, as we speak, in order to plan a strategy to be able to control this immense crowd in a safe and non-aggressive way and for people not to get hurt, including the police, mm -hmm. as much as possible. And we have seen that, Manny. You know, at the beginning, uh, there weren't, it seems to be, from what we were seeing from our helicopter, in the midst of the crowd, uh, officers uh, that, that we saw. Then we began to see lines of officers around the perimeter uh, in their in their regular uniforms, not with any kind of uh, you know riot protection or anything like that. Um, we have Marshal Kramer with us, Manny. Um, so stay right here with us. And Marshal, one of the things uh, that you are learning how police have changed how they react to situations like this since George Floyd's death. Well, one of the things that happened after George Floyd was they were accused of something called kettling, where they were pushing people into the center and then arresting them. Mm -hmm. And what they've decided to do since then is not to do that. And I think Manny could even talk about how they changed the police procedures in the wake of what happened during the George Floyd protests. How they, I've just been watching it and um, on our, from our helicopter, and the, a lot of the cops have their hands up. They're not mm -hmm. pushing people. They're they're taking a totally different view. They're going around the perimeter, and they're, it's a much more peaceful response. I can also tell you that the mayor has been monitoring this from City Hall with the police department, and the latest that I'm hearing is that there are over 2,000 people there. What happened was that um, a YouTuber was going to give away approximately 300 PlayStations, mm -hmm. And so many people showed up that this is what happened. But I'm wondering, Manny, if you can talk about how the police changed their procedures in the wake of what happened in George Floyd and the, the, the kettling charges, which cost the city a lot of money. Yeah, yeah you're absolutely right, Marsha. Uh, well, different administration, uh, different uh, mayor, different police commissioner, different everything. So uh, the posture uh, during the protests a uh, few years ago was let them go. They have a first amendment my, uh, right. Uh, unfortunately, certain splinter groups turned away from their right to demonstrate and, and voice their opinion into looting, rioting, etc. And uh, this administration, I, I believe, is turning the tide on that and is trying to prevent or will try to prevent that exact thing from happening again. And that's why we see a level four mobilization 
and that's why we're seeing so many boots on the ground. Manny? Uh, the, uh, Yes. And I just, pardon me, I just want to, again, our viewers, uh, let them know what we're looking at because off this is the Union Square subway station. We, we've been told trains now are bypassing that. And boy, oh boy, you wonder about how much weight the rooftop of that can hold. Um, we have been told that there have been arrests for obstruction of governmental administration. Uh, no reports of serious injuries so far. There are advisories out on social media. Media to tell people from the NYPD to stay away from that area, the street area, as well as uh, the transit. Although, again, the subways are stopping. We've seen buses, Manny, stuck in there. When you talk about obstruction of governmental administration, what does that mean? Well, that basically means that you are causing an act that where the government cannot uh, perform its duty, whether mm -hmm. it's a stop bus, a block. Subway, uh, subway station that you have to bypass due to safety reasons, uh, traffic that stands at a standstill, or, or, or obviously preventing the police from performing their duty to uh, protect uh, people's uh, lives, property, and uh, well-being. Mm -hmm. And so arrests are being made. Uh, it sends out a, a, a message that they're taking this serious aviation. Um, very confident is taking very close videos of all of this to eventually identify any ne'er do wells that will subsequently may be arrested and maybe perhaps not uh, today tonight but in the future so aviation is in the air they are videotaping everything and then telling the troops on the ground the boots on the ground exactly what's going on and where the hot spots may be so that they could perform their tactical challenge of going in perhaps into mm -hmm. those crowds and extracting certain people that may be hurt. And we're looking at, Manny, uh, we're seeing uh, officers in a per perimeter type situation. We're also seeing police move in metal barriers into the area. I'm not sure which side. Okay, that gives us a uh, perspective uh, that the white uh, top thing on the right of your screen, viewers, that's the subway right. station. Um, but yes, also the traffic, people who work in uh, buildings, live nearby, have been told to, you know, stay inside for now. Um, people were standing on cars. Go ahead, Manny. No, no, what I was going to say, and, and we have to keep in mind as well that uh, Union Square, that uh, that's Transit Police District 4. Mm -hmm. So there's actually a police precinct right under that, that white uh, rooftop there. Mm -hmm. Inside that subway station, there is a transit police station. So there's hundreds of police officers that are there deployed, I'm, I'm confident, to protect that station. Mm -hmm. So, um, so far, uh, what I see is the police trying to use as much restraint as possible while they gather their uh, significant resources and try to come up with a game plan to try to end this in a peaceful manner. 